Alright, so I'm going to talk about Altoid tins and how you can turn them into a mini altar that you can carry with you in your pocket or purse. Here is the one that I made. They are very handy to have if you are on break at work and want to do some witchcraft or you can take it with you on a walk. And if you find a spot and it reminds you of your god or goddess, um, you can stop and give it an offering or prayer or whatever you want to do, depending on what you put in your little pocket altar. And you don't have to decorate if you don't want to for people that um, are not openly practiced or have to keep it a secret which is very valid point because there's a lot of Christian fanatics oh you're doing witchcraft and you must be devil's work blah 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 when they have no idea that they too do witchcraft without knowing it so anywho um I have two also I have another mini altar too that I can go over it's a it's a vape thing I don't recommend vaping for people 21 and under um, but I you I filled it with stuff for a little mini pocket altar that I carry in my purse. But it's getting the box is getting a little destroyed, so I have to find a new space for it or a new small box. Anywho, um, so I crafted and decorated my mini Altoids tin. <clears throat> Um, I liked a pattern. It was kind of marbly and it was from a tissue box, so I cut out the shape of the Altoids tin and put, glued it on with tacky glue. Um, and then I glued down a penny for protection as well as um, an offering type thing to my goddess, which is Hecate. I had some leftover sparkle ribbon that was left over for some craft things up for it that I made a while back. I put on a Halloween black cat sticker on the back. And I used Sharpie to mark the black edges right here. So anyway, um, so what do you put in these things? Well, everyone is different. It depends on what you feel or what your bare minimum is for what you practice. You can have a mini altar dedicated to a god or a goddess, or you can have a mini altar just for full of random things you like. Your mini altar could be a small reflection. It sh your mini altar should be a small reflection of who you are or what you are into in your craft. Um, here is what I put in mine. Give me one moment. I don't have the best video quality, so I here's what we have here. I have a mini Dragon's Blood Instant Stick. I have a bay leaf. You could write something on it or just, you know, put your intentions on it and burn it or just let it float away for a spell. Now these are pretty cool. This is a uh, cleansing spray that I made. It's um, it's in a three milliliter sample spritzer bottle that you can get from Amazon. I do have some five milliliter ones that also fit in here too, but I like the smallest one. The smaller the better, because you can fit more stuff in there. It's the same height as a birthday candle. Then I have a mini pentagram, which actually was something a friend made of my made for me. When I was um, when I got married, um, the actual necklace part broke, so I had to I use it for other uses. Now I have a mini pendulum. Isn't it cute? I made this too. It's of amethyst stone. It's not the greatest quality, but it'll do. It works. And like I was saying, I put pennies with stars on it for an altar. I actually was watching some altar YouTube videos, and they gave me this idea. And also, um, had to, Hecate had um, like shiny pennies, anyway, like shiny things uh, from what I've heard anyway. Then I've got some birthday candles in here, one of each color, except for the white ones. There's two because you never know when you need a second one. 
I have an incense cone. It's of the myrrh incense resin. And then I have a little tiny shell. Hecate is the goddess of earth, air, and sea. So that's why I put a she she cell in there. I got other ones I can change out to if that one ever breaks. But that one was my favorite so far. Then I've got two stones. One is a moonstone. And one is, I believe, obsidian or hematite. I believe it's more obsidian, but it's black. And black stones are something that represents her. And now on the cover, up on the top, I have little charms that um, represent her as well. The ghost. She is the goddess of ghosts, and as well as um, witches. I have her little symbol here with torches and a key because she is the crossroads. She's a co she is a crossroads crossroads a crossroads goddess, and she has represented the number of three. So one, two, three. She is also part of the triple moon aspect. And so this is my little mini travel altar. Oh, and she also does cats. She's more known for her do black dogs, but she, in her bio that I have read over and over, that I've read on the internet a few times, say cats are also her symbolism as well. And I have two cats for things. All right, so anyway, that is my altar tin. You guys have a blessed day and hope you wish you all well.